Hello, welcome to the July board summary. I'm Jonathan Higman, the Chief Executive. Um, we started the July meeting with a board seminar session and we're joined by Mark Cook, who is the uh, Regional uh, Performance Director for NHS England and NHS Improvement. And uh, Mark gave us a really informative overview of the national politi policy context and also some changes that are coming within the regulatory world, so within NHS Improvement and NHS England. Moving into the uh, formal board meeting, we started the board meeting as usual with a patient story and this month we heard from uh, Emma Young, the critical care nurse specialist and a patient who told us a story, uh, or told us her story of uh, a time when she developed sepsis following uh, the following labour. And this highlighted particularly the psychological impact and uh, a syndrome which previously hadn't really been known about called post-sepsis syndrome. And as a result of this, we've developed a sepsis support group uh, across, across Somerset and further, further details about that will be, be, be coming out. We, we moved on to talk about the contractual memorandum of understanding and uh, as a board agreed that and signed that off. And in essence, that is uh, a document which sets out the way that we're going to work as a Somerset system to manage our money over the coming three years. We then heard about the NHS uh, Pay Award and uh, staff will be aware that the Staff Council uh, nationally agreed the new pay deal on the 27th of June. Um, this will mean that uh, the increase in pay for Agenda for Change staff will be uh, paid in the July uh, pay, pay run and back pay in, in August. Uh, this, this meeting was a, a, an operationally focused m meeting. We've recently reviewed the format of our board meetings and are now moving to quarterly operationally focused uh, meetings with also a quarterly uh, meeting on strategy and a development session for the board. So we spent a lot of time talking about routine reports that came to the board this month. So we, we looked at the Trust Risk Register um, and had a specific conversation around fire compartmentalisation, particularly on the 36 bedded wards in the tower block. Um, and uh, the, the, the building works and the mitigations we're putting in place to address some of those issues. Uh, we received a, uh, a, a report on medical appraisal and validation from Dr Skull, the medical director, um, and also a report on learning from deaths um, and our mortality review, which highlighted a lower than expected mortality rate at the Oval Hospital, which was really, really pleasing. Um, and, and finally, a safer staffing report, which was presented by Joe Howarth, Deputy Director of Nursing. Um, um, and finally, as part of the operational focus, uh, we, we looked at an awful lot of, of data this month. Uh, I think we were, we were pleased to note the, the continued, uh, that the hospital continues to perform well operationally um, and we were successful in the, the, the move following uh, the uh, reflooring on EAU. Um, and actually we've continued to maintain uh, the closure of Jasmine Ward over the, 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 last, the last month, which is, which is, which is great news. Uh, we, we continue to perform well against all of the national standards, although there is some pressure against the cancer two-week wait, particularly in breast, and uh, the 62-day standard. Um, but there are plans in place to address that over the coming, the coming months. Um, and on, from the money perspective, just finally, on quarter, in quarter one, pleased to say that we're on, on plan against our, 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 our plan for the year. Uh, however, that's within the context of things getting really challenging as the year, the year goes on. So a good start to the year, both from a, uh, a, a budget perspective, but also uh, from our savings, uh, savings plan. Those were the key highlights from this month's board meeting, and I'll see you again in a month.